so you're playing, you're re returning as, as Quaritch to Avatar, the, the villain. You're going to be the bad guy through all four of the sequels. Well, I'm returning as Quaritch. I, I'm not going to say he's the villain, but... You know. I think, I think oh. James Cameron called you a very mean word in terms of where your character Oh, goes. yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, I'm the villain. Yeah. I'm back. Well, it'd be, it'd be kind of a weird turn if you if you came back as a good guy. Uh, do, you, do you know how Avatar 5 ends? I do, indeed. Can you tell us? Sure. <laughs> okay, thanks. You were absolutely, utterly terrifying in Don't Breathe, uh -huh. uh, and there have been sort of murmurs of a sequel to that. Do you yeah. know anything about that? Yes, the murmurs are there, the script is there. Uh, it's, I think every, I'm not exactly sure what's happening. It's in, uh, I, I wish I could tell you because okay. I'm kind of anxious to know we, myself. We won't hold our breath for, in the, for the time being. Hey, <laughs> don't breathe. Ah. Oh, um, that was good. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he had to. Like sorry, that. that was a good one. So I do have to ask, going back to the Avatar thing, yeah. that was the first Avatar came out ten, almost 10 years ago. Uh, at what point did you know that there were going to be sequels, and then at what point did you know you would be involved with them? Well, I knew there were going to be sequels pretty quickly, and then within a very short time, I think in 2010, he kind of whacked me on the shoulder and said, but you're coming back, you know, and I went, I am? <laughs> <laughs> He said, you're coming back, yeah. So. Could you talk to us a little bit about the evolution of the technology? I mean, you were on Avatar, which was state-of-the-art back then. Yeah. I mean, what enhancements, improvements that ha that you've noticed? Well, uh, the major uh, new challenge, uh, I think there are a number of new challenges, but one of them certainly has been doing underwater performance capture, because Jim Cameron likes to work in the water, likes that world, and that plays a part in uh, uh, the oceans of Pandora are important. And so, but doing performance capture underwater is a whole, presents a whole new set of uh, problems, which they have, you know, which you solve on a daily basis. Okay, I'm gonna tie this all together. I read in an interview that James Cameron has got some of the young cast of Avatar holding their breath to up to four minutes. Right. You yeah. are in Don't Breathe. How long can you hold your breath? Well, I've done over four minutes, static hold. If I get into acting a scene, um, I'm good for, uh, you know, maybe a minute and a half before I start turning as blue as a Navi, <laughs> you know? Well, that's still really impressive. Yeah. So hold your breath right now. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, no, no. You're good. We're setting you free. Hold your breath for Alita battling. Thank you so much. Oh, we love All it. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Lang.